Hello fellow fish nerds and happy Fry Friday to you. What you are seeing here is obviously my full red albino female. The only one that's left. Uh, I started out with, I think it was a trio, a male and two females. Um, the male died, the female uh, got some sort of a parasite or something. And anyways, this is the only one that's left. Today's video is actually inspired by what IFG says in all of his videos. Inquisitive Fish Guy. He says at the end of every video, the opinion that you follow should be that of your own. And this video is about that. It's about the opinion that you follow should be that of your own. It's also your own opinion should be formed by experience and multiple tries. Don't just give up after one time. Uh, you often hear that female guppies can hold on to the genetic information from the male guppy for multiple months, for multiple broods, for multiple batches of babies. After not being with a male, she should be able to have babies multiple times afterwards. And that was, I thought, was the case with this female here. I put her in this DIY uh, plastic mesh screen breeder when I thought she was going to drop fry because albinos are known for eating their fry. And I wanted them to stay safe and put some plants in there, some saltwater tanks, some java mosses right underneath of it. Thinking she would drop fry. She looked like she was getting huge. And I waited. It's been a while. I went to Disney. I was worried about it. I got my mom to come uh, check on my fish, feed the fish. She enjoyed it. It was fine. Uh, she didn't ever see any babies. I've never seen any babies. Thankfully, I already ordered these babies here, which some of them are, the two of them are really nice. First off, one's a male. And of course, that's nice to have a male with all these females. And one of them is this really crazy fancy tail uh, female thing that's going to be. But uh, so I was hoping and waiting for that saying to be true about, you know, female guppies holding on to the genetic information from the male from one breeding multiple times because she did drop one fry and her fry is coming in the very bottom of all those babies right there. The smallest fry on there is actually hers um, that survived from that batch, uh, that first batch. And the second ones you see here are ones I should order off of Aquabit. But what I have seen in my experience over, it's now two months um, since she has been with a male is that after that first batch, she has not had any more. So that would kind of drive my opinion to say that that is not true, that females, guppies cannot hold on to the genetic information. They cannot have multiple batch of babies after only breeding one time with a male. But that's why it's important in science experiments for you to conduct multiple trials so you can rule out experimental error. To see me conducting this after multiple trials, stay tuned after my intro. I'll see you on the other side. It's Mr. Science Geek. I hope my tanks don't leak. If it's information that you seek and my videos take a peek, be sure to tune in each week. My singing and my jokes really reek. Here we have my female albino blue topaz guppy that was featured in my Fry Friday video two weeks ago, introducing that I actually had this strain of guppies. And as you see in the background, she has a batch of fry. Well, the interesting thing about this batch is that the story behind her is that I got her along with another female and a male. That's a trio of fry, and they turn out to be a male and two females. Uh, the other female died. The male uh, and female survived. Uh, they uh, apparently bred. And um, they had a batch of babies. Well, then I did a water change. I forgot to dechlorinate. And the male and the babies died. So she had only been with that male one time. And yet here is a batch of babies that came out a month after the male died. Actually, more than a month after the male died, um, this batch of babies was born. Then... I, on Thursday, I saw some more surprising, exciting news. I came in to my classroom on Thursday morning to feed my fish. This is the tank that the female was in. I saw these albino blue topaz fry swimming around. I was super excited. It's 10 of them. This is more than two months after the male died. 
I immediately moved the female over into the tank that you just saw her in with the larger fry that she could not eat because we all know that albinos are famous for eating their fry, especially guppies, because in the words of Michael from Michael's Fish Room, the babies are tender and delicious. So, these fry are a second batch. So she's had two, two batches of babies without being with the male. This supports the statement that female guppies can retain the genetic information of the male guppy for multiple months for multiple batches. I've heard it's up to six months. We'll see how many months she can go without being with the male and still having babies. I'm curious to find out. I'm curious to find out the results of that um, experiment. So far the results are going quite nice, but this is why you do multiple trials to rule out experimental error. With my full red albino female, it might be that she's stressed out by being in that breeder. It might be that that strain does not retain the genetic information, the gametes of the uh, male guppy as well, or as long. That might be the case. It might be water temperature. It might be a lot of factors, but experimental error is could have persuaded me and told me, hey, that's not true. Whereas these fry are proof that it is true, at least in some cases in my experience. So, confirming what IFG says, the opinion you follow should be that of your own and adding on to it, make sure you do multiple trials and do not just try it once and give up and say, oh, that's a fact now, and then give up. No, try and try again. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it inspired you to, you know, keep trying. Hope you learned something. Um, anyways, but stay tuned for the updates of this female and any of her future batches of fry. Until next time, stay tuned and stay fishy, people.